Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a beautiful and kind princess named Isabella. She was loved by everyone in the kingdom, and her parents, the king and queen, were proud of her. One day, the king and queen decided that it was time for their daughter to find a suitable prince to marry and become the future king of the kingdom. The king and queen held a grand ball, inviting all the eligible princes from neighboring kingdoms to come and meet Princess Isabella. As soon as the ball began, the princess noticed a handsome prince from a distant kingdom. He was charming and had a way with words that enchanted Princess Isabella. As they talked and danced, Princess Isabella began to fall for the prince's charm. The prince, on the other hand, had his eyes set on the kingdom's riches and power, and saw Princess Isabella as a means to achieve his ambitions. Days went by, and the prince began to show his true colors. He was rude to the staff, and often disregarded the princess's feelings and opinions. Despite this, the princess was so infatuated with the prince that she failed to see his true nature. One day, the prince asked the princess to go on a horse ride with him in the forest. The princess agreed, excited to spend time alone with her love interest. As they were riding, the prince purposely led the princess into a dangerous part of the forest, where they were ambushed by robbers. The prince quickly fled, leaving the princess behind to fend for herself. As the robbers approached the princess, she prayed for a miracle. Suddenly, a group of brave knights came to her rescue and fought off the robbers. The princess realized that true love and bravery came in different forms, and she had been blinded by the prince's superficial charm and good looks. She returned to the kingdom, wiser and more cautious. Days later, a kind and brave prince from a neighboring kingdom visited the princess. Unlike the previous prince, this prince was kind, humble, and treated the princess with respect. They fell in love, and the princess knew that she had found her true prince. The new prince and princess got married, and the kingdom rejoiced in the union of two noble and kind-hearted people. They ruled the kingdom with love, kindness, and bravery, and the kingdom prospered under their rule. The moral of the story is that true love and nobility come from within, and superficial qualities like charm and good looks are temporary. It's important to look beyond the exterior and to focus on someone's true character and values before falling in love.